A video about a, a mono stable multi vibrator. This is the experimental circuit. Here is the input. Uh, I've used a 10 nanofarad cap to the first transistor. And here is the schematic. Hope it's visible from this distance. The Mono Stable Multivibrator is a circuit that gives a frequency when the input is triggered here. I've used here a 10 nano cap. So when we get a trigger input here, the circuit produces a frequency. And that frequency is set by two important electronic elements. The cap here and the resistor here. So when you change the cap or change the resistor, the circuit will give another frequency out when it's triggered at its input. This is an experimental circuit with potentiometers here and here and here. When you want to use it in a reel, uh, Set the potentiometers to the right working point and after that replace them by fixed value resistors. This circuit was in the past used in analog frequency counters, so with a meter and a pointer that indicated the frequency and what happened was that uh, the different frequencies here gave uh, fixed um, order frequencies and then um, it was sent to a transistor uh, with a meter in the collector lead or the emitter lead and in such a way that the current at the output was proportional to the frequency. So higher frequencies more current at the output. This is not visible here of course because I did not um, finish this circuit with, with another transistor etc etc. I only want to show the principles. And I want to do that now. What happens when we touch with one hand the input. Of course when you touch with your finger such a circuit at the input uh, it's quite unstable, uh, the signal is unstable, the frequency is unstable, but anyway it leads to a certain output and that's what I wanted to show. I want to touch now here the input and at the moment I have connected the 10 nano cap but I want to go to the higher cap and that's uh, 100 nanofarad here. So what happens when we touch the input? And you can see that the frequency is generated. I touch with one finger now the input. You can see it's unstable but there is a frequency generated. I want to do that in a somewhat better way. I hope that I can show it at the moment. I hope my counter is visible now. And I touch now the input with one finger and with my other hand I touch the ground. And now you can see on the counter that the frequency delivers approximately 100 Hz. I now connect the 10 nano cap, do exactly the same. And here you can see that another frequency is generated with that 10 nano cap. It's unstable because the resistance from my hand and my body is unstable. But anyway, um, 
it shows that you can generate different frequencies when you send a pulse into the input. Anyway, back to the circuit. Uh, this is experimental. This is experimental. And this I've showed already in the video. So an interesting circuit to do experiments with. And as I told, often used in old school frequency counters. Analog frequency counters. The whole circuit works on 12 volts. And here again a oscilloscope view about what happens when I touch the input. Anyway, wish you luck.